Here's a little breakdown on how to work through the um, notebook activity for police. So, yep, there is a lot to kind of take in and consider. Um, I would recommend maybe getting a big piece of paper, a notebook paper or something, and writing it all out there and then transferring it into your document. We are looking to compare the effort force, which is how much you have to pull to lift and then you're using these different masses here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. Um, you're going to use two different pulleys, and then you follow these steps. So the first thing you do is calculate the weight of each mass by multiplying the mass by 9.8 meters squared. So that'll give you the weight in newtons. So step one is going to be taking each of these numbers and multiplying them by 9.8 to get the weight in newtons. Um, and then it says record that on your data table. So if you go to the next page, oh, maybe go back, hang on. Here's your data table. So um, weight in newtons, that number is going to go here and that's going to be the resistance force. So you'll be filling those numbers in. Um, since this table only shows, you know, basically two spots, one for each pulley, um, you can figure out how you want to list all those weights in there, or you can set up your table a little differently if it makes it easier if you want your own box for each mass or weight. So, um, because you are using that 0 0.1, 0 0.2, all of these numbers. So if you want to set your data table up a little differently so they each have their own space, you can, or you can put them all in one box either way. So after you record that number, you will now have a number to use in your formula. Basically, you've got um, your setup here for the distance the string is pulled. That's going to be for the single and the fixed, I mean, the, yeah, single fixed position, and then one fixed and one moving. So you'll have string distance, effort force, and newtons. You'll be calculating work, so you can see that that's newtons times meters, so that's these two numbers here. And then you're going to be measuring the distance that it was lifted in meters, and you do that on this page. Okay, so here are your masses. So you can switch in between. You kind of have to pull them down and attach, so it tells you exactly what to do. Um, you can reset it here, but it says, attach one of the masses to the fixed pulley by overlapping the black circles. So you pull this, and you attach it on. So now it's connected. You can see it's connected. Select the handle that you're going to pull and drag down to lift the mass. So once it's lifted, you want to get it to the same place every time. So like the top of my handle is now at one centimeter. So if that's the number I'm going to use, one centimeter, then I can know that I need to do the same thing for all of these masses. It's going to be needed to lift to the same distance. And then you'll record that uh, number at the top, point, point 0.98 newtons, and then one centimeter. So record the effort in newtons, so 0.98 on the data table. Measure the effort distance, that's the distance the handle was pulled. So we've got to measure that down. So for it to go one centimeter, you're basically counting the little numbers in um, there, 5, 10, 15, 20, or you can count to make sure in between one centimeter. So starting with zero, if this is zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. So each of these is 0 0.2. So if I'm raising it one centimeter, the, the weight's going up one. The bottom of my handle would be at two, four, six, eight, so 0 0.08 centimeters. So I've pulled it 0.8 centimeters to raise it one centimeter. 
and it took 0.98 newtons to do that. So then you've got to go back to your data table or you're going to the one in your science notebook and you pulled the string. This is in meters, so you're going to have to do a conversion and you just convert centimeters to meters. Effort force was 0.98 and then you multiply those numbers. So just make sure you convert so that you have a correct measurement there. And then you go do the same thing with the other pulley. The distance the mass was lifted in centimeters, you've got to convert that as well. It was one centimeter, so convert that to meters. Um, so then we're going back over. You've got that simulation again. And if you scroll down, you've got to go put this weight here. And once you can get it to connect, okay, you're wanting to raise the weight one centimeter. So again, you want to get it kind of, it's a little harder to do, but right on that line, so it's one centimeter. And we can see that our handle is over here now. It's further than one centimeter. It's now greater than that. So it's about um, in the middle. So probably 1.3 centimeters. And then the force is 0.49. So you'll go record all of that. And then you would do the same thing for the different weights. So hopefully from there, you're able to do that, fill in all the information on the data table, and that will allow you to answer the questions that go along with it on the next page. Um, there's three questions, so you'll have those answered. So hopefully that helps.